An emotional day at Corner Canyon High School after a crash took the lives of two students over the weekend. There were five teens in the car. The other three were released from the hospital this afternoon. New specialist Tanya Mashburn spoke with friends in Draper today. This is where the crash happened, right along Highland Drive on Saturday night. You can see several memorials have popped up here. One is just for Lexi Fenton, and the other is just for Ethan Fraga. I spoke with some of his best friends today who said they were with him right before the crash. Dude, Ethan, everyone loved that kid. He's like, he's like a really awkward kid, but at the same time, like, really outgoing, and like, everyone just loved to be around him. When they talk about Ethan Fraga, his friends can't help but smiling. And he has a lot of friends. You know, we have like a, <laughs> like a rap group, I guess you could say. <laughs> Same thing goes for Lexi Fenton. She's just very funny. She laughed at everything and she made everybody feel very included when she was hanging out with them. Ethan and Lexi were with three other teens Saturday night when the driver lost control of the car and rolled. We were like driving home and then we got a call and said there was a huge crash. And so we like drove up here and then realized that like it was our friend. The car caught fire, but the other teens survived. One of them was Lexi's twin sister, Lauren. They're very, very super close, inseparable, and they both had that contagious laugh. Today at Corner Canyon High School, the entire student body took time to remember the victims with ribbons and banners, but other schools came together as well. Even at Alta, where there is a fierce rivalry between these two schools, there's a real show of solidarity and a show of support. Kids at many surrounding schools wore navy and silver, Corner Canyon school colors. But at the memorial site, friends wore a style specifically to remember Ethan. As you can see, we're wearing like denim jackets and a lot of us are wearing turtlenecks because that was kind of like his mojo. That's kind of what he did. Draper police still aren't releasing any new information about the crash, so we don't know exactly how it happened or even whether or not the kids were wearing seatbelts. We hope to know more later this week. In Draper, Tanya Mashburn, KSL 5 News. Tanya, thank